Hello, West Seattle High School students. This is a quick video about how to structure a research PowerPoint. So with a research PowerPoint, it, it's basically a lot like a research essay, but you're just doing it as PowerPoint form. And that has some strengths and some weaknesses. One, you're not going to have quite the same set of paragraphs and things like that. Uh, you might not have a topic slide and things like that. But uh, you will, on the other hand, have a lot more pictures and you can include video and things like that a lot more interestingly. So I'm just going to show you a basic structure uh, that you would use. So as you can see right here, I have the fake PowerPoint open and I have kind of a title. Obviously, you'd have the title and probably, you know, your name or some subtitle for the thing. And then you should, you may or may not, and I'm showing it without it, have a slide right after this that would have like your thesis where you would say, you know, here's what I'm going to prove if you know it was an argumentative kind of thing it may not actually be that so i'm going to show you it without that but you could put another slide like right after the intro where you'll kind of overview what it, your thesis for this for the presentation is going to be um, i'm assuming you're probably not going to really present this in class but you might so uh, if you're really presenting in class you're probably going to talk out your thesis um, the next slide, what you would do um, if you're doing a research PowerPoint would be just like you would in the introductory paragraph to an essay, you'd kind of explain the sections that people are gonna see as they go through your PowerPoint. So you'd basically you know, make up some, or not make up, you'd do your research and figure out like how to group your, your topics for your research. So I've made up uh, four fake sections and then I've, sh I've created the version for just this first section. Um, so, you know, this basically would tell the viewer, like, here's what's going to get covered in this slideshow. After that, you would start covering it. So you can see the first of these main topics I'm going to do is geography of the Melazon Empire. And then I would start with, um, you know, the stuff I'm going to talk about with the Melazon Empire. So these would be like the main points I'm going to hit or the main things that matter about geography of the empire, uh, the things I've learned from my research. So basically just a list. Um, and this would be basically, if you're thinking of it as an essay, these would be the pieces of the analysis that you would have in a particular paragraph um, if this had been written as a paper. And then obviously you're going to want some evidence. Um, and so I have put in a quote here from a fake historian and then I've analyzed my quote. So, you know, again, if you think of this as an essay uh, in PowerPoint form, you're going to need evidence. Sometimes this would be images, sometimes it'd be maps, um, you know, but just like in a normal essay, you have evidence and analysis of the evidence. And so this is kind of, you know, just broken down. So all the stuff in geography, I'm kind of hitting here. Uh, and, you know, I put one there because I might have two pieces of evidence, but maybe you don't. And then I have put a map here because this is theoretically a, a part about the geography of this Melazon empire. And so here's a map that would elucidate or show the information that was explained here. And you can see it says, as you can see in the following map. So you just kind of tie it all together like you would with a paragraph. And then uh, you don't really have a conclusion to each section the way you would have a conclusion sentence in a paragraph unless you feel like it. Um, but you basically just move on to the next section. So like I would have three groups here uh, that are all this stuff about geography. And then I'd have some more stuff about religion where I'd have like, an, you know, the, the information about religion, just another three slides. And then the last bit that you're going to need for a research paper, obviously, is a works cited section. So you have the full proper works cited you can see here. Um, and so this would include all the sources. You might need one, you know, a couple of slides or a few slides just to keep this from getting super crowded. Uh, so there's no reason not to have like works cited one, works cited two. But um, that way it all, like in a normal paper, you have a works cited at the end. The last bit to show you is how to footnote or how to cite your sources. So, you know, if you're turning this in for a for a academic kind of thing, your your readers or your viewers are going to want to know where did you find this. So, I have a quote here, and obviously it's from Zork Hardware, and I've introduced my quote. Um, and I know Zork Hardware wrote this book, which is actually made up, but whatever. Um, but on the actual slide itself, you're going to want to show, you're going to want your a footnote here effectively, like you would in a paper, uh, a citation so that your viewer would know, like, where did this come from? And you can, like you do in MLA, just put like a, you know, in parentheses citation right after that. But honestly, on a PowerPoint, that would kind of clog up the screen and make your text really busy. So it's better to just put it in notes. So I'll show you how to do that. So uh, if you're writing a paper, you would just insert a footnote there and it would show up at the foot of the paper. In this case, you're going to need this button down here, this one that says notes where I'm hovering it over it. Um, and what notes are, 
are basically notes on the PowerPoint, right? It could be anything here. It's, these are usually like stage directions for people who are actually producing this thing. Um, but you can include a citation here. So um, I just took the Zotero Bib citation maker and then these are this is like the shorty note showing that this is from hardware, in this case, Zork hardware, uh, that book, um, Malazant Geography. And so as a viewer, if I was actually curious to figure out like, what book is this quote from? I would look at the notes, see it's from there, and it's short, it's not the full citation, it's just like the note version. If you feel like it, you can put the full citation for all I care. Um, but there is a, like, technically you're supposed to put these little mini citations. And then if I was the reader, I'd look at that and be like, oh, that's the hardware book. What is the hardware book? What's the details if I want to go buy that or find it? Then I would go to the Works Cited page and find the full citation. So that's kind of formal, but that is the way you do it in a proper research paper. So this is how to make a research PowerPoint complete with some uh, footnotes effectively showing where your quotes would be. You should also footnote uh, where you got your pictures from. So you would have a note here as well. Uh, and that would also be included in the Works Cited page. So that's how to do the uh, basic structure of a research paper in PowerPoint, including Works Cited and Citation. Hope that was helpful. Thanks. Bye.